Stephanie Buds and welcome to day 379 of Reese's Stories and today I'm going to be reading you a story called Philbert the Good Little Fiend written by Hawaiian Oram and illustrated by Jimmy Lyon. So I hope you enjoy it. There was Daddy Fiend who was ferociously fiendish. There was Mommy Fiend who was fear, fiercely fiendish. Fiendish, and there was Philbert, their little fiend, who was good, good, good. The, what's the matter with him? said Daddy Fiend fiercely. He won't say boo to a goose, moo to a moose, or pants to an ant. He's no little fiend of mine. You're right, wailed Mummy Fiend, as she helped Philbert into his fiery red coat, horrifying horns, and monstrous mittens. Now, she said, we are all going out to be gruesome and ghastly, you, your daddy, and me. But Philbert wouldn't be those things. He wouldn't huff or puff, trample or terrify, glare or scare, roar or holler, or be one bit bothersome and beastly. Instead, he had to pick up an old lady's dropped shopping, and then he did some bird watching. Oh, my horrendousness, said Mummy Fiend that night as she put Philbert to bed. What are we going to do with you? You could read me a nice story, said Philbert. Hideous idea, said Mummy Fiend, fetching a book filled with pop-up pictures called The Most Terrifying Tales and Fiendish Fables to Have Ever Popped Up. She read and read until Philbert was so pooped by the pop-ups and bored by the beastlings. He fell asleep and dreamed of growing pop-up vegetables with some roses and dahlias as well. Dahlias as well. The next day as it happened was the very day Philbert was to start school. Mommy and Daddy Fiend dropped him off saying, now, be a proper little fiend for us, promise you will. But Philbert didn't even nod. He listened to Miss Fearsome Frizzy's teacher when she said, get ready for musical thumps and all on the mat for shriek and show and after that we'll have a purple paint fight. But Philbert didn't join in. Instead, he built an aeroplane out of drinking straws. He played cat's cradle in a corner very quietly. And he hid in the little fiend's loose for the whole of the purple paint fight. And loose is another word for toilets. When he came back, Miss Fearsome Fritz looked at him suspiciously. Philbert, you've been keeping out of the fight, haven't you? Yes, said Philbert, who never lied because he didn't see the need to. Well, I can't. And have such good behaviour in my class, Miss Fearsome Frizz sizzled. I will go and sit outside on the grassy good step until you've decided to behave like a proper little fiend. So Philbert put on his coat, his horns and his mittens and ran outside to the grassy good step where he watched the clouds drifting by and the flowers nodding in the breeze. Then suddenly out of nowhere came a little angel shape, actually a little angel, flying so fast and furiously that she wasn't looking where she was going and bump. She bumped into the tree and landed in a heap beside Philbert. Hello, said Philbert. I'm Philbert. Hello, said the little angel heap. I'm Florinda. I've been sent out from angel school for not being good enough and I'm very furious about it. And I've been sent out from fiend school for being too good, he said Philbert, and I'm thinking about it. Well, I wish you'd think of a good way to make them happy with us just as we are, flounced Florinda. Hmm, said Philbert, jumping up. I think I have. Here we go. Then Philbert took off his fiery red coat, his horrifying horns and his monstrous mittens and lent them to Florinda. Florinda took off her soft sil silvery cloak, her fluffy white wings and her golden halo and lent them to Philbert. 
So when Florinda walked into Angel School looking like a right little fiend, everyone begged her to get back to being nothing worse than a not quite perfect little angel. And when Philbert walked into fiend school looking like a proper little angel, everyone begged him to get back to being nothing better than a good little fiend. After that, the angels in angel school sighed and accepted there was, was one among them who wasn't perfect. Miss Fearsome Frizz kept her hair on when Philbert was good. At least he's no angel, she muttered to herself. And Philbert said, you mummy, let him be his good self without complaining once. Though they did have another baby fiend rather quickly in the hope they'd get something gruesome and ghastly. And it has to be said they weren't they weren't disappointed. As for Philbert and Florinda, well you can guess what happened to them. They became the firmest friends ever. Why you know why? Because together they were just about as good as it gets. A not quite perfect little angel and an almost an angelical little fiend the end i hope you enjoyed that wonderful story called favorite the good little fiend written by hawaiian oram and illustrated by jimmy Lyle. so i better go now and i guess we'll see what math day 380 of stories so bye everybody good luck